Well, welcome everyone. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us here for St. Baldrick's 2021. Uh, I, would give, I was going to give you a little bit of a history. This is my ninth year participating, and so I'll just kind of show some pictures from the past. This is the very first year I participated back in 2013, and I'm here with my good friend Jake, who was a second grader with me back then. He got to be part of shaping my head. Jake is uh, a cancer survivor, and he's very inspirational. Uh, he is a sophomore now in high school and doing great, and it's so fun to reconnect with him every once in a while as well. So there is Jake from that first year. This has been uh, a really big part of some of the things. This is at, the, at Commerce Elementary for a couple of years. We got lots of kids together that uh, shaved their heads and fun, did some fundraising. We did, uh, some people did cut off some ponytails that for locks for love, for wigs, wigs for kids and different things like that. So some very cool participation there. And it's really turned into a family a fair different times as well. So both of my sons, Josh and Henry at different times have participated and done their head shaving. It's been a fun thing to kind of do together as a family. There's all of us one year. This is at the Wald Lake Firehouse one year, Josh and his buddies before their shave and then afterwards as well. And then uh, the last few years, I was doing this in my classroom with uh, the different students and they got to uh, take a part and hold the, hold the clippers and help shave me and, and do that as well. So very cool experience for us here. Thanks. So St. Baldrick's is a great charity that works to raise funds and awareness to conquer childhood cancers. And I've met a lot of great people over my time participating, including Rob. And Rob is uh, gonna join us here on the stream. And there we go. There Hello, I am. Rob. <laughs> hey, Mr. Love, how are you? Doing great. Yeah, so Rob is a St. Patrick's legend. Sometimes he wears the really cool uh, green uh, <laughs> shamrock uh, suit coat there. I do actually, my team this last year surprised me by retiring my jersey. They oh my goodness. They had my suit coat framed uh, and like like a big fancy trophy framing, like I'm some kind of a big deal athlete. Uh, <laughs> you'll recall, I do sweat a lot when I'm running around on stage when we do these events, but I don't think I'm quite an athlete. Uh, <laughs> so I've got to find a new coat to wear this year. Uh, we obviously, we live in a different world right now. Uh, COVID-19 has changed a lot of the ways we do things. Mr. Love was ahead of the game with technology. He's been doing these virtually for a couple of years now so that you can share that time with the students, which I think is super cool. Uh, I'm a dad and a big fan of teachers and public educators in general. Uh, so I, I thought Mr. Love was a hero anyway, just doing the job he did. But then he comes in and he gets silly with me on occasion and we shave our heads. <laughs> and you know, I'm super proud to know people like Dan and uh, a lot of his friends and family. I remember uh, I've, I've met, I think both of the boys at one point or another. Yep. Uh, and. I now have two sons that are uh, St. Baldrick's heroes as well. Uh, my oldest uh, has been doing it uh, four years. His name's Jackson. Uh, and then my youngest, Jameson, who's a third grader, uh, this will be his third year coming up uh, in August when we do it. So uh, normally our event happens in May. Obviously, it's not safe to have an event right now where everybody's all smooshed together. I love looking at those pictures in the video because I saw people within six feet of each other. Right. Which is strange to see now, but it's great to see because we know we'll be back to that eventually. I can't wait to be able to high five somebody without, you know, spraying uh, some sort of uh, antiseptic on the hand afterwards. Right. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I uh, wanted to put those pictures out there just to, so everyone could see what this sometimes can look like. And, and hopefully next year we'll be in that same situation with a whole crowd of people and lots of energy and happiness and hugs and high fives for sure. Absolutely. We're, we're converting our event. We're going to do it rain or shine in August. It's going to be mostly outdoor to be able to maintain social distancing and be safe. But we want to be flexible because we don't know how safe anything's going to be by then. So we're going to we're going to follow the rules, as they say. Um, there you go. Grown up. Like I do me, want to give a, a shout rules. out to my students out there. I know there's different classes watching, but the kids that get to work with me every day right now, I'm so lucky. I've got kids from Loon Lake Elementary and Mary Helen Guest Elementary that are in my on, online class. 
And uh, the Mary Helen Guest connection is really great. There's been different teachers over the years that have participated in St. Baldrick's. Mrs. Macbeth, her family has been part of the Mary Helen Guest community. Uh, and so there's a, a big history there. And so I'm happy to have it. So I hope all of those second or third graders and all the students are enjoying this here. We're gonna get started here with uh, some shaving, I think. I do wanna introduce my very uh, personal uh, assistant right here, my, uh, the lovely and talented Mrs. Love here. And, oh, and uh, the, the poll was to leave me looking like Mr. T to start, if we can make that happen here. I'm gonna lose the glasses and uh, I'm a little nervous. Maybe I'll back out. No, we're gonna do this. All right. Oh, I got a racing stripe going here. And for those of you out there who've never shaved your head before, that first cut feels so good. It feels really <laughs> And I have the wind blowing on me too, so this is like, <laughs> woo! A little chill going here. I thought this was gonna be a, uh, woo! Nice. Shall I turn and show the camera what we got done so far? All right, can you, am I turning too far? Oh, looking good. Oh, oh, it feels great. Maybe we'll stop right there. I'm feeling good. No, we'll keep going here. That could be a look. You could just, you could start your trend. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is, uh, this is the look here. Is the ear button the way at all? You're good? And I just want to thank all the people that have uh, sent donations. I, the last I checked, I think it's $660 so far. And uh, we can still do donations. Maybe Josh, oh, look at that. And the little ticker on the bottom, you can go to the St. Baldrick's website and search for my name. And uh, and let's, all right. Anyone want to take a picture of the Mohawk there? Well, I think we're going to keep well, going. Our students but, uh, are, uh, are screenshotting right now. I'm certain <laughs> <of it. laughs> Awesome. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Yikes. All right. As a, as a little update to everybody, yes, Dan has raised over $685 this year, which is no small amount of money. Uh, but I actually, I emailed my friends at St. Baldrick's to find out how much he's raised over all these nine years. Uh, he's raised over $4,000 uh, to find the best uh, cures for children. Oh, wow. So, um, wow, I didn't realize that. That's holy moly. Yeah, it's like uh, you want to check your couch cushions and see if there's any more to throw in there, or what are you going to do? I'm just so appreciative of the friends and family and families of my students and everyone. It's so generous uh, with the donations, and I know it's going to a great cause. I think St. Baltrick's does great work, really takes care of its kids and their families and gets the scientists and doctors what they need. Yeah, that's about Wow, that was a lightning quick shave here. Can we do your eyebrows? No eyebrows. So I'm going to keep no, the no, eyebrows. He's got an actual oh. <laughs> I thought you were being funny. Yeah, so I was talking with my students this morning just about how um, this is a really fun and positive and uh, really, you know, fun experience like that. But, you know, obviously cancer is a very serious um serious situation there. So we, we definitely want to make sure that people understand that we are not, um, you know, being playful or joking around with cancer itself. This is a way to have fun uh, to really help people that, that need that kind of help here. You know, cancer is a, a serious situation. And, and I was talking also, with this, what, what it also does that I found is when I do have my head shaved, I get a lot of people asking me, Rob, why, why the heck don't you have any hair? And that's a great opportunity to educate people on the difference between childhood cancers and grown-up cancers, uh, about the big funding gap there is. Oh, that's some good looking. See, that's no fair. Mine's mostly gray. You got like brown hair in there. You got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so one other thing I wanna make sure this, you know, we, some of the kids that are watching is that uh, sometimes when people do have cancer, some of the medicine they use to help them, uh, one of the things that happens is that someone's hair could fall out. So different family members or friends of someone with cancer might shave their head to really support their loved ones. Uh, and so that's kind of the, the start of this as well here. So 
Uh, this is in support of people who are living with cancer and people who are surviving cancer and thriving in their lives uh, with cancer and, and really helping the, ch the children's cancers for sure. So I just love the look here. I can just, the, every breeze that comes by, I'm feeling it here now. <laughs> Excellent. Well, Rob, I want to just thank you so much for joining me and uh, helping make this a little bit uh, more interactive here. You know, very happy to be here. Uh, always happy to support another night. For those students who don't know, uh, Mr. Loveson, seven years or more, is considered a knight of the bald table, um, which that's, I can just carry a sword uh, because I'm a knight. Uh, I don't know oh, if nice. you carry a sword or not, uh, but you know, <laughs> uh, there's all kinds of different levels as you as you keep going and doing this. I'm called a knight commander, and uh, Mr. Love will be that next year. Uh, I'll be proud. To, hopefully, we'll see each other in person next year, and I can uh, I can bop this sword over your shoulder and and anoint you as you should be. But thank Wonderful. you very much to all the students out there and to the friends and family that came to watch Dan. This is a you know it's been a tough year, tough year and a half. Gosh, it's been it's just been tough. Uh, and having these moments to interact with people that we know are good that we don't get to see as often anymore is just awesome. So thank you guys so much and have a wonderful day. Wonderfully said there, Rob. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks to all the people who provided donations. You can still give the donations uh, to St. Baldrick's. Uh, there's a link in the YouTube description. You can go to stbaldricks.org and do my name. Uh, and I uh, want to thank Josh, my wonderful son, Josh, who is working all the technology and making us work. And thanks to Mrs. Love, uh, who gave me a great looking haircut here. Thanks so much, for everyone. Uh, I hope that uh, you're inspired to do something great, to do something kind, and I will sign off here and have a wonderful rest of your day and a great weekend. Thanks, everyone.